The exercise I'm gonna show you now is a deadlift. Now, runners often conjure up ideas of big muscular people at the gym, but deadlifts are so important to running health and longevity of your career. When you do a deadlift, it's a little bit different than a squat. We're gonna go through the mechanics, but we wanna make sure that we are really solid on our form. I would actually recommend not using any weight until you're really confident in how you're doing this. The easiest thing to do is to use a mirror, or you can use uh, your selfie cam on your phone to stack it up just to check your form. Now, I'm gonna show you with a weight in a minute. The difference between a squat and a deadlift is that the knees do not change position. We're gonna be working mostly through a hip, uh, hinge from our hip, keeping our spine straight. So let's work through this, let's talk through this a little bit. When we're gonna do the deadlift, the easiest thing to do is just set yourself up in position. So we're gonna stand nice and tall, look straight ahead, you're gonna unlock your knees. Once those knees are unlocked, you're not gonna change your knee position at all. We're gonna be working on driving our butt back as we lower our chest down. Now you do not have to worry about touching the floor, you don't have to worry about any specific um, reaching depth, and this is actually gonna tie into our glutes, our low back, and our hamstrings. So if you're dealing with a little bit of hamstring nagging you, make sure you, you only go through the range that it allows. So once our knees are unlocked, we're just gonna take both hands, cross them over, we're gonna drive our butt back, and bring our chest down. Now you're gonna notice that I am not rounding a ton through my back, I'm not reaching for the ground, and I'm not letting my knees come forward anymore. It's almost like you're lifting or sliding your butt up as you come down. So here's a couple reps of a double leg deadlift and coming back up. Chances are you're gonna feel this through the hamstrings, you're gonna feel this pulling. Make sure you're keeping your weight even from 50-50 from on your right and left sides. We wanna make sure we're not cheating this. And if we're gonna use weight, the weight's always gonna stay right between our feet. We're not reaching it out at all. We're not gonna be picking it up. We're gonna be here with it underneath us, looking straight ahead, unlock those knees, drive the butt back, hinge from the hip, retrieve the weight, and pick yourself back up. Once you're here, we're never leaning backwards on it because that's gonna load our low back too much. Just keep yourself straight. Knees stay the same position. Drive that butt backwards straight, back, and up. Looking straight ahead can help keep your spine position versus rounding everything out. So here, and back up. A fantastic exercise. Runners often don't use weights. They don't feel like it's something that's gonna work in their running, but once you start tapping into kettlebells, dumbbells, different types of weights into your routine, you can really start to get stronger and protect your joints and your muscles and your tendons. So, Deadlift, super powerful, don't skip it, add it to your routine, and if you feel like you're struggling with a little bit of knee issues, this is a great one because it does not load your knee very much at all. It's all glutes, all hamstrings all the time.